I just love all shades of pink, purple, cherry and red. It's so beautiful, I think. Almost all of my flowers are pink and I enjoy growing vegetables in these shades too. For example, chard with their colorful stalks and scarlet cabbage. This is my favorite garden cosmos, Rubenza. It starts off dark pink and then the color fades with time. There's actually one color that I haven't been very impressed with in the garden so far. It's orange. I even stopped growing marigolds since they're all orange or yellow. I just didn't think that it fit my garden. This year I actually tried to grow a few because the slugs are supposed to love them. So I wanted them to go for the marigolds instead of my cabbages. But of course, my cabbages were infested and the marigolds looked absolutely pristine in August. Like many tips on avoiding pests, it just didn't work. So, I decided to make a marigold bouquet instead. A colorful mix of Cosmos, marigold, red goosefoot, lime green flowering tobacco, the flowering chard variety Lucullus, and foliage from the Jerusalem artichokes. I picked almost all of the flowers in this bouquet the previous night, and that's my big tip for anyone who wants to learn more about making bouquets. The flowers look so lovely after a night's rest in a vase, filled with water, preferably in a cool spot, perhaps outside or in a basement. The bouquet can get a bit tired looking if you use newly picked flowers on a warm sunny day for example. This is even more important to consider if you want to make it a gift. So pick the flowers the night before you create the bouquet or leave the entire bouquet in a cool space overnight. This will make it look fresh and healthy. 
hmm, I am actually starting to change my mind about marigold. I actually feel like growing a few more varieties now. The flowers smell wonderful too, of course. 